Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to beat the boss Rapturous Huntress Glyrene in Lords of the Fall in 2023. So this boss is kind of similar to some of the ones we faced previously, most notably like the Scourge sister Daylith, as they do have the same kind of buff together. Now this boss has some pretty well telegraphed attacks, it does a lot of spear lunges, so it has some pretty long range, and if you're not rolling into it, you're going to get hit likely, since it can still hit you even when you're rolling backwards. I recommend mostly rolling to the sides with this boss, as it's not going to be doing many sweeping attacks, it's going to mostly have those long reaching attacks. So don't roll backwards, roll to the side, and get a couple hits in whenever you can. This boss is a little bit quicker, so it's not as easy to get as many attacks in, but I would recommend just focusing on dodging more so than anything since these attacks can grind your health bar down quickly and especially more so once it gets into the later phases. So it just buffed itself there with the holy damage and that's similar to the Scorch Sister Daleth. Now it's mostly again attacking forwards with these newer uh, spiritual attacks so watch out for those dodge to the side. You're going to lose your targeting here a little bit. I kept losing it for some reason and uh, it's best in those situations just to get locked back on because then you can see what attacks are coming and it'll also bring up these holy thorns here to deal some damage. You can roll through them just don't walk through them and it's going to continue to do this and make it a little bit more difficult to fight here so just be mindful of where they're at, where your character is dodging, and where your character is swinging his weapons because that can carry you forwards a little bit. And yeah, just stick towards dealing as much damage as possible. The poison was able to finish it off, but that's how you beat the boss there in Lords of the Fallen. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found this video useful.